Hello. In this episode, we will see how the data and the voltage are transmitted between the motherboard of the LCD TV and the TCON board. On the figure, we see a large cable that connects the two boards. This cable is known as the LVDS cable. LVDS stands for Low Voltage Differential Signaling. LVDS is not just a simple cable. In fact, it is part of a whole system that is used to transmit from the motherboard to the screen, the very high-frequency electrical signals corresponding to the digital data of the images without loss of quality. The simplest way to transmit data is to use a circuit built with two wires. One will be used to transport the electrical signal and the second one is connected to the ground and it will be used as reference, in this circuit is placed a transmitter, noted TX, and a receiver noted RX. This type of connection is called single-ended or unbalanced. A typical example is the connection using a coaxial cable. This type of link is sensitive to external disturbances such as electromagnetic fields and is not suitable for data transmission at very high frequencies and over long distances. Another example of electronic components operating in single-ended mode are the TTL and CMOS logic circuits. TTL is an abbreviation of transistor-transistor logic. As their name indicates, these circuits are made of transistor, while CMOS are made of MOSFET. Without going into too much detail about these circuits, the basic principle is to obtain at the output of the CMOS or TTL operating with a VCC to plus 5 volts, two possible states. A high logic level or 1 if VCC equals 5 volts, or a low level if VCC equals 0 volts. As we said previously, these circuits connected in asymmetrical mode are sensitive to electromagnetic interference phenomena and consequently the quality of the transmitted signal can be altered. To overcome this problem, a connection technique known as balanced connection is used. In this connection mode, the electrical signal is transported at the same time on two wires that are physically close to each other. Each wire receives the same electrical signal but on one it is in phase opposition, i.e. on one of the wires the signal is the opposite of the other. There may be a third ground wire but it is not mandatory and it will serve as a shield. To take advantage of a symmetrical link, the output and input connected together must be symmetrical. These symmetrical links have the advantage of being protected against external disturbances. The LVDS is therefore a physical layer of material that serves to transmit an electrical signal with a very high frequency of up to gigahertz over a distance of 10 to 15 meters while being immune to noise, that is to say, to electromagnetic disturbances outside the circuit. To better illustrate the interest of a symmetrical link compared to an asymmetrical link, we will see two assemblies, one wired symmetrically and the other asymmetrically. The first assembly is made with a sinusoidal signal generator connected in an asymmetrical way to an oscilloscope placed at a few meters. The second assembly is identical except for the connection which is made symmetrically with a double wire conductor. Near the wires, there is a motor in action like a drill. This machine generates an electromagnetic radiation which is propagated in the air and induces a parasitic current on the conductive wires of our two assemblies. On the first asymmetrical assembly appears on the oscilloscope two signals, we find sinusoidal curve accompanied by a second signal corresponding to the parasite signal. For the second assembly built symmetrically, the final signal is identical to the original signal. If we analyze the signal on each wire, we find the same parasitic signal but keeping the same polarity on each wire, contrary to the sinusoidal signal which on one of the wires is in phase opposition. In our symmetrical assembly, at the output of the receiver RX is a differential operational amplifier. Its role is to perform a mathematical operation such as subtraction. This amplifier produces an output signal proportional to the difference between the signals applied to its two inputs. The output voltage VO will be equal to V plus minus V minus multiplied by K, K being the gain of the amplifier. If we don't want to amplify the signal, we have to fix the gain at one. For this, the four resistors of the assembly must have the same value. The final formula will then be VO equals V plus, minus, V minus. We will apply this formula to our symmetrical assembly with a sinusoidal signal on which an interference has been added. We note A, the signal that propagates on the wire of the non-inverting line, i.e. the plus. On the other line the signal is noted B, the signal B is inverted with respect to A, it is equivalent to minus A. The signal corresponding to the parasitic signal is noted C. At the output of the differential amplifier, the result will be a subtraction operation, A, minus B. As B equal minus A, we replace B in the subtraction formula which gives, A, 
minus minus a equal a plus a equal 2a we find our input signal with an amplification to two times its initial value concerning the parasitic signal noted here c as it has the same polarity on the two lines the subtraction operation gives c minus c equals zero finally the spurious signal is removed if we do not want our original sinusoidal signal to be doubled at the output we add a voltage divider to the output of the differential amplifier which will allow us to find an identical signal at the input we can see that this symmetrical assembly mode has the advantage of immunity to interference on the line and is suitable for signal transmissions with low voltages of the order of one millivolt now how do we reverse the polarity of a signal here we will use an electronic circuit called an h bridge the circuit is composed of four switches the load to be supplied with current is in the middle hence the appearance of the letter h the circuit is connected to a current source and to a control device for opening and closing the switches if all four switches are open there will be no voltage across the load if switches s1 and s4 are closed simultaneously s2 and s3 remain open we obtain a positive current through the load in the case where s1 s4 are open and s2 s3 are closed simultaneously we obtain a negative current through the load in practice the real lvds circuit has this schematic representation the switches are mosfet type the lvds will be based on the voltage value at the terminals of a 100 ohms resistor placed just upstream of the receiver it is recommended in this type of circuit to apply a current equal to plus 3.5 and minus 3.5 milliamps the calculation with ohm's law gives a potential difference of 350 millivolts across the resistor in the receiver, there is an operational amplifier configured as a comparator of two voltages. If the voltage on the non-inverting input V plus is greater than V minus, the output voltage VO will be saturated at the supply voltage of the op-amp, here VO plus. Conversely, if the voltage on the inverting input V minus is greater than V plus, the output voltage VO will be saturated at the negative supply voltage of the op-amp VO minus. When MOSFETs S1 and S3 are activated simultaneously, and S2 S4 remain open, a positive current flows through the load. Remember that the current, I, does not flow through the op-amp because of its high impedance at its input. The current will flow back through the 100 ohm resistor. The output voltage VO will be positive equivalent to VO+. If MOSFETs S2 S4 are activated simultaneously and S1 S3 are open, a negative current through the load is obtained. The output voltage VO will be negative equivalent to VO minus. At the transmitter level, in addition to the voltages V plus and V minus, there is another voltage which will be used as a reference for these two voltages. This voltage is noted VCM for voltage common mode. This voltage will be halfway between V plus and V minus. The voltage VCM is equivalent to 1.2 volts with respect to the ground. We saw previously that the potential difference between the two lines V plus and V minus was 350 millivolts. This voltage is noted here VOD which is an abbreviation of voltage output differential. Using now VCM as reference we obtain the following formulas, V plus equals VCM plus half VOD. This gives V plus equals 1.2 plus 0.175, which equals 1.375 volts. For the other voltage, V minus equals VCM minus half VOD, so V minus equals 1.2 minus 0.175, which gives 1.025 volts. Note that the value of the common mode voltage equals V plus, plus V minus the whole divided by 2. Therefore, the logic output level at the receiver will result from the comparison of the input voltage V plus and V minus with respect to the reference voltage VCM. If the input switches S1 S3 are closed, V plus is greater than VCM, the logic output will give a high level or 1. If an input S2 S4 are closed, V minus is less than VCM, the logic output will give a low level or 0. Let's take an example with a digital signal at the input of the H bridge having these values. The first numerical value of our example is equivalent to 1, so the switches S1 and S3 are closed, the curve in red represents V plus. It is above VCM, so at the output we will also have the value 1, since V plus is greater than VCM. The following numerical value being 0, S2 and S4 are closed, the blue curve corresponds to V minus. Compared to VCM, V minus is less than VCM, so at the output there will be a low level, so 0, 
The process of translation of the signal will continue in this way. We can see that this LVDS system can faithfully reproduce at the output with a very high frequency, the same values applied to its input, while consuming little energy and being immune to interference. With a special function of the oscilloscope, we can capture this LVDS signal. The superposition of the two curves V plus and V minus allows us to analyze the quality of this signal. This graphic aspect is called the eye diagram because we saw a resemblance with the morphology of an eye. In the next video, we will see how the data of the image are arranged to be transmitted in good order from the input of the video signal in the motherboard to the screen. We are coming to the end of the video. See you soon.